everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and these are our 2021 readings by sign. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Please remember that I do have courses over at Gumroad, and I always leave all that information in the description box below. So what I'm doing here is I, even though I'm not an astrologer, I'm just using the signs to break down into smaller uh, groups of people so that I can read and uh, we will see what is coming up for you in 2021. Let's get started. Hello, Leo. Let's see what's going on for you for 2021. Uh, I'm going to first do a little bit of just a general message for you and then we'll get on to the cards. But there, don't put your energy too much. I have a weird hair right here. What in the world is going on? <laughs> There it is. Okay. Uh, don't put too much of your energy into over planning this year because I think a lot of you are going, you're, you're going to be taking off in a direction, not everybody obviously, but taking off in a direction that might have been very unexpected. This happens because something in your life gets you crystal clear on what is important. Okay. So it could be for some of you, you put a lot of energy into something and then it didn't turn out very well. And you say, you know what? No, life is too short. That's really what it is for you guys. It's this feeling of like life is too short. I'm going to go off and try this, whatever that might be for you. Get ready to adjust. Get ready to adjust. Get ready to make some really big changes that for a lot of you at first are going to feel like it's what you want to, it's weird because it's like it's what you want to do, but of course you're afraid of the change. And so this comes with admitting certain things to yourself like, hey, maybe I let, uh, there's actually a Leo card in here that says, uh, you know, don't let pride get in your way. I'm letting uh, my concern with how people will view me, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to go off and do something because I, it may not be approved of by other people. And I think you're finding your strength where you're ready to go and you're saying, no, I believe in myself and I'm going to, it, this could just be like a lifestyle change too. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like, I don't even want to live here anymore. I want to go on the open road and I just want to go see what's out there or, you know, something along those lines. And somebody else might say, are you crazy? Why would you do such a thing? <laughs> they want you to stay put, right? Okay. But you're going to be making your own choices. So let's see here. Oh, Here's your card. Be bold and make the first move. See, Cardinal Moon. You are definitely making a big choice this year. Now, remember, a big choice doesn't have to look grandiose. Okay, a big choice could be, I'm going to sit still, maybe for the first time in your life. Maybe you're somebody who does move a lot. And for once, you're going to stay put. You're taking a completely different approach now. And I don't think you're going to let anything hold you back. But uh, again, uh, it comes, it says be bold, but there, it does come with a word of caution to not be impulsive. That seems to be a big warning for a lot of people this year because things are still trying to adjust and settle down from everything we've already experienced. Okay. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Again, here's this message here of you don't have to worry about what everybody else has to say about it. Okay. You can make this work. You can, for some of you, you're starting all over. You're starting all over, whether that was from a job loss, maybe a divorce, a breakup, you know, whatever kind of loss that you have experienced in the past year, you are finally saying, no, okay, it's time to come on out and take a chance on myself, which is what the be bold and courageous message is all about. But can you get out of the ego pursuits? Yes, that is going to be a big one for you doing this sort of disconnect from, you know, I've been doing this social media thing for so many years. And what if I wanted to turn away and go do something else? What would my audience have to say about that? Right? <laughs> like, What would people have to say? And you know, you're just having to be very, very true to yourself. Of course, if you're married, you have to take your partner's opinion, <laughs> you know, because especially if you want to move, you got you to gotta talk to your partner about that. For most of you out there, you know, it is just time it is time for something new and a fresh start. So don't be too disappointed if not everything kind of comes together this year. That's okay. That's okay. Just you planting the seeds for that change is going to be enough. But some of you might 
have an opportunity to go off and, and have that fresh start. Remember, this is a general reading here, okay? So then we have meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. This is why you can't be too impulsive. You have to really know what direction you want to go in, <laughs> okay? So this is self-discovery, you know, realizing this is who I am now. For some of us, you know, um, I'm in my 40s. Should I still hang on to dreams and ways of thinking from when I was 20? I'm not that same person anymore. I'm not in the same circumstances and the world is not the same. So this is your year and your time to contemplate who have you become and what kind of choices will suit you now. Okay. All right. And then we have a win-win outcome is forecast full moon in Libra. So again, if you're careful in how you approach things, there could be a beautiful situation that unfolds for you that's balanced, harmonious. And, you know, it could be the kind of thing that if you are careful with the timing, you know, tuning into your intuition, seeing when it would be the right time for you to make a move or change jobs or whatever it is that you're contemplating, there could be something that really turns out well, not only for you, but everybody who is involved. Okay. Color card. I have it right here. <laughs> I have them right next to me. Oh, cute. Okay. So we have watermelon. Have fun with your inner child. The number is three. When we talk about you're going back and recapturing an old dream, you're going back and giving yourself some sort of chance. You're going back to who you thought you would be when you were a kid. How did you imagine your life? What did you think it would entail? You're going back to that now and you're giving yourself this chance. All right. Have fun with it. Explore, be adventurous, but have it be grounded in, you know, third dimensional ego consciousness reality. <laughs> All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.